Hello everyone, Mariette here from Inner Connection. Welcome back to From Havoc to Harmony at Home. It is our last three trainings of a four module 20 training program on our online conscious parenting course. And it's a super exciting time because finally we're actually arriving at the strategies and the techniques for our conscious parenting toolkit that relates to the blockage that we meet sometimes with our child. When our child might say no to us, go away, I don't like you, or they are not cooperating with us, or they are resisting us, this is a moment that we can practice the pause, observe, not absorb, go with the flow, go with the flow instead of forcing things and really rely on the strategies in our conscious parenting toolbox. These strategies are energetic exchange from havoc to harmony hacks. So they are the shortcuts. Of course we know, because we've worked really hard in the first three modules, that it's not really about getting over the hurdles when we're running the race. It is about us, the conscious parenting, arriving in the correct space, headspace, fully energized, armed with our conscious parenting toolkit, as well as a very deep understanding and connection to the truth that we are actually facing unresolved aspects of our own being reflected by our child in a moment that we are struggling with them. So the moment we actually think that our child has a problem or that the behavior is a problem, we have we're deluding ourselves. <laughs> Let's face that. Our child is not the problem. Our child does not have a behavior problem. Our child is learning and our child is learning in effect of us. Our child is mirroring energetic blockages from the ancestral hereditary patterns to us. Our child is mirroring shocks and traumas from our timeline and their timeline to us and our child is mirroring our low levels to actually practice conscious parenting or their low energy levels to actually deal with the resistance to us. These are the causes of the behavior, symptoms and patterns. These patterns and symptoms are our signposts where we need to place our focus. When we look at the symptom or the pattern, we go looking for the cause. We address the cause and then the symptom goes away by itself. Of course, we have some hacks to also alleviate the symptom and take the edge off the symptom. But the point is that we are learning something from the symptoms. We don't want them to just go away before we've learned, before we've seen what we are meant to see. And once you see it, you cannot unsee it. Trust me, it is just so beautiful. It is such an incredible process that we are involved in. When we step into the full potential of our conscious parenting process, when we are no longer in effect of the parenting we received, when we realize that the parenting we received is an outdated program, and when we look around us and we see the systems fail and fall this year, and we know that these systems that we have implemented over the last decades are based on outdated programs and therefore we see the consequences of those choices, then we finally get to see what this year is about. That we are at home on a global timeout thinking about those choices and we can make new choices and reprogram ourselves and update these programs. So when we're at home, we definitely have that power to take on our parenting as a place where we reconnect with ourselves and our children and we are not seeing problems. We are seeing opportunities for learning and growth and we are evolving. We are evolving the family field and we are evolving as a collective and together we step into a new future. Love and light, Mariette.